10 Things to Consider When Deciding on Taking a Dog as a Pet Getting a puppy, a new puppy is more energetic and playful than an older dog, which means they can be more affectionate and active. This also means that they can be more easily trained. 2. Choosing the right breed. Dog breeds are usually determined by their size, temperament, and working ability. All dogs have different characteristics, and the best way is to find out more information about your breed. Please keep in mind that there are always exceptions to the rule, as not all small or large dogs are suitable for dog shows. 3. Selecting a dog breeder. There are many things to consider when looking for a good breeder. The most important thing is to choose someone who takes very good care of their dogs, breeds primarily healthy dogs, and does not use puppy mills. 4. Choosing a puppy, how can you be sure the dog breed that you've chosen will be the right one for your family? You should look at different breeds and their characteristics and choose the right dog for your family. You will need to plan ahead. If you want to get a purebred because there are several steps to take. When choosing a puppy, the first step is to find reputable breeders who breed healthy puppies. To avoid genetic diseases, both parents in a litter mustn't have inherited disorders. Also, the mother should be tested to ensure that she is not a carrier of any genetic disorders. When getting a puppy, the next step is to take your puppy to a vet that can check its general health and look into any genetic disorders present. You need to take the puppy in for training visits, which checks on the dog's learning skills and interactions with other dogs. When getting a puppy. Finally, it would be best to have your pup professionally groomed to develop matting or skin conditions. By following these steps, you can be sure to choose the best dog breed for your family. Five. Adopting a rescue dog, many rescues find their way onto a waiting list. If you see one on the list, take action and investigate further. The problem for some people is that they don't know how to go about adopting a rescue dog. Here are some tips for rescuing a puppy or dog from a rescue organization. Have your children meet the rescued pup so that they don't have any concerns about having him at home. Make sure that he interacts well with them and is comfortable around them. B. See if you can talk to the person who has fostered the rescued dog. If possible, invite him or her to meet you. It must be a match for your family and your lifestyle. C. Before you decide on adopting a dog, make sure that you research everything about the breed of rescued pup that you're interested in. You need to do this to know what to expect with the puppy once he's at home with you. When you rescue a dog, adopt the dog only if you know that he is the right dog for you and your family. And never forget to support your local rescue organization. 6. A regular walk. Many people think getting a dog will detract from their exercise regime, but this is not the case. Dogs need the same amount of exercise as we do, and getting them out for daily walks will help them. Not only will you have to walk them, but they will need extra playtime too. Dogs don't just need walking, but they need lots of exercise in the form of running and playing. This is because it gives them the right amount of exercise that they need. 7. Grooming. If you have chosen a dog, then you should think about grooming. This will help to keep your dog clean and prevent problems such as skin infections. 
Some things to think about are teeth brushing, ear cleaning, and nail clipping. It would be best if you also considered how you are going to groom your dog. This can be done by yourself, or you can pay someone to do it for you. Whatever you choose, you must get into a grooming routine and stick with it. 8. A safe environment, dogs need somewhere to live, play, and sleep safe and secure. Many families don't realize the work involved in owning a dog. Ensure that you have some place for your dog to sleep and something for it to do when it is not playing. Many people fail to realize how much their dog depends on them. If you consider adding a puppy to the family, make sure that you look after its every need. 9. Training Your puppy will need basic training from an early age. If you don't do this, your dog will become a problem. This is often the reason why people give up their dogs. Not only will it be challenging to train a dog, but it can be expensive as well. But remember that the money and effort you put into training your dog now will reap the rewards in the long run. It doesn't matter what breed of dog you get, it will be problematic if it is not trained. So, make sure that you have someone train your dog for obedience training. This is a good way to become the best owner you can be for your dog. Once you have trained your dog and get it under control, it will be easier to teach your children. 10. Health Insurance If you are considering getting a puppy, then health insurance is crucial. This is because puppies are very expensive, and you need to make sure that they are protected. You have to purchase liability insurance. The best way to do this is to buy the type of policy with good coverage for accidents and injuries. There is no use in taking a chance on something like this, so you need to be sure of your protection. In summary, Getting a dog can be a good choice, but it is not something to be decided on impulse. So, take your time and think about how you want to live and how the dog you get will fit into your life, and if you have the resources to take care of a dog. So what do you think? Do you have anything to add?